Don't dream it's over. Kevin felt uneasy. Caitlin had just told him about her dream, about how in it he'd left her for another woman and she'd seen them kissing and canoodling outside Superdrug. She'd woken up in tears and woken him up to get reassurance. He told her not to be stupid. He told her he loved her and he was never going to leave her. He kissed away her tears. Hey, hey now, he said. Don't dream it's over. She cuddled him and drifted back off, but he couldn't get back to sleep. Caitlin's dream had been too close to the truth. He had been kissing Rosie outside Boots that very morning. Had Caitlin seen him? Had he been acting suspiciously and she'd picked up on the signs? Was he giving off vibes? He was going to have to tell her the truth. Kevin looked at the text message again to make sure he had the right time. She was late. It had been three weeks since he'd told Caitlin about Rosie and kicked her out of the flat. She'd not taken it well. This was going to be the first time he'd met her since then. He didn't really know why he'd agreed to see her, but she'd said she wanted to talk to him and it was important. He felt a tinge of regret as he saw her swaying towards him. She looked good. She'd lost a bit of weight and had made an effort. But all was well in his garden with Rosie. As he expected her, something important was a list of reasons why they should get back together. We could buy a house together and maybe start a family, she said with a hopeful, hopeful smile on her face. Kevin shook his head. She'd obviously spent the last three weeks listening to Adele, believing in miracles and playing happy families in her head. But Kevin was not to be moved. Caitlin, you have to move on. We're not going to get back together. Don't dream. It's over. With that, he got up and left her sobbing on the park bench. Caitlin cackled. Caitlin crowed. Caitlin conspired. She'd watched Kevin's life crumble and would not stop until it had completely caved in. It was so easy. So easy. Her job with Vodafone had given her the tools to get him by the balls. And now she had them well and truly cupped in her hand. Who knew hacking phones were so easy? She managed to send a text to Rosie from Kevin. That had put pay to that relationship. The text she sent to his female boss pretending to be Kevin had seen him fired faster than you could say you're a cheating scumbag maggot. But she hadn't finished yet. She had other plans. She'd not let up until the piece of dirt came crawling back to her and then she'd squash him like a bug. She thought about him. He was probably hoping his run of bad luck would end. Don't dream it's over, Kevin, she said to herself. It's only just begun.